Something's hitting it. Something's hitting it. He can't get it. He's trying to get it. Got him. Oh man, I hope that's on. I hope that got on camera. He was just, he had to have taken at least three swipes at it. I'm having fun. This is the speckled trout that I came here for today. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Or if this is your first time watching, welcome to the channel. Hi, my name's Captain Devin and I love catching speckled trout or redfish right here on Louisiana's coast. So if that's something you love too, then please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss when the next video goes live. Now, if you have been watching my fishing videos and you know I've been doing a pretty good job catching limits of speckled trout, but I would like to change it up by targeting bigger speckled trout specifically speckled trout that are 20 inches or over. And not just catching them on a cork, but something that's a little bit more fun, like suspending baits and topwater lures. So, be sure to watch this video all the way through so you can enjoy all the awesome catches and benefit from the good fishing tips that I have in there that you can apply the next time you go fishing. So we got a strong incoming tide until like noon today. Um, southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, but it feels like it's blowing more like five to 10 right now. That's always subject to change. Looks like it's gonna be a little overcast today. Now the bait I'm throwing here is a corky, specifically a custom corky. And this color is called Pearl Harbor. Yeah, oh, that feels awesome. That's what I came here for. Oh, oh God, this is a trout, it's an absolute freak it, is, it can't be a trout it's a freaking redfish of course it's of course it's a redfish come on dude what a buzzkill man and this thing absolutely choked that corky down absolutely choked it down all right buddy I'm gonna put you back. There we go. No crazy filming the release or whatever. Just not what we're here for. We're here for the biggins. Here we go, there's one. I don't think it's the one I'm looking for. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's not the one, but it's a nice one. All right, she might be 20 inches. Look at that. All right, girl. Actually, this is a boy, it's just croaking. Nope, not quite 20 inches. So that's like a good 18 three quarter inch fish. We're gonna put it back in the water. Awesome. I'm also going to tie on a top water. Good God. Dude, that trout nailed it like it came out of the freaking like a bass. I watched it jump out of the water from way over here. I don't even know if I got that on camera or not. Yeah, it's a hammer. I don't know if, it, if she's 20 inches or not, but it's definitely a, more of a quality trout. So I switched to a top water because uh, my suspending baits were getting hung up and they were getting hung up in all that grass. There's a whole bunch of grass here. Where's my, where's my pliers at? I mean, she really wasn't hanging on by much. 
Not the fish I'm looking for, but definitely a more quality fish. Let's see here. 18 inch fish, all right. Back in the water you go, thank you. So that was like instantaneous. And this is the bait I'm using right, this is the bait I'm using right here. That's an evergreen shower below. Let's keep throwing this. Bam. Yeah, this is the pattern. There we go. That's the one. I think that's the one I'm looking for right there. Oh yeah, she's nice. I don't know if she's the one, but she's nice. There we go. That's a speckled trout right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> there we go. That's a nice speckled trout right there. But she's only a little over 19 inches, so. This is not the fish. So, this is not the fish we're looking for, but still a nice one. There you go, girl. No, no, no! Oh! Well, clearly they're on a topwater bite, so maybe what I can try doing is throwing different topwaters. You know? So I'm gonna tie on whopper plopper. Try that out. This ought to work nicely. Let's try this out. could be it this could be one I hope so dude this fish has got to be foul hooked it's just not coming to the boat at all but I saw it I mean it's a trout yeah he's foul hooked oh god come here fish big dummy I was thinking it's a 24 inch trout and he's just foul hooked that's all Oop. okay Nice fish, no doubt this is a nice fish, but not the fish I'm looking for. Thanks buddy, but get a little bit bigger. Okay. Bam, friggin' again. This is a smaller fish though even still on hey little dinkasaurus rex dude where's your big sister at huh come on man grow much bigger there you go yeah i'll be good to get up against the shoreline because then i'll get that wind to my back i can get right up against the shoreline and just make bomb casts and cover tons of water. This water's shallow and I feel fish are more easily spooked in shallower water. And I know that they're more easily spooked here. That's why I don't appreciate the used boat lot that this freaking thing is becoming, but that's just, just part of the game, man. 
I won't let it get to me. Right there in front of the boat. Right there in front of the freaking boat, man. <gasps> I should not have boat flipped her. I should not have tried a boat flipper. <laughs> There's got to be a better way to make these fish bite. In the past, I've used double rigs with light eight ounce jig heads to swim across the top of grass beds to catch speckled trout, and it's worked. I haven't used them to target hammer speckled trout, I just used them to target schoolie speckled trout. But it's worth trying here because the bite's kind of slow. And for colors, we're gonna start off with these clear colors, the magneto on the top and shrimp creole on the bottom. That blue blazer bay that's leaving right now, those guys are fishing top water and they're they're doing a pretty freaking awesome job of it. And it was a pleasure to watch them watch them do it. So everyone else is coming in here just throwing the cork and being boring. We're not here to be boring, we're here to be freaking awesome. Well, the only thing that seems to be hitting this double rig is needlefish. There we go, there's something right there. All right, double rigging it. Got one speckled trout on it. Decent, oh, a decent one. Oh, wow, that's a nice fish. I just boat flipped this bad boy on a double rig. Oh, God. Oh, shit. She bit the magneto. All right, let's measure her. Oh, but alas. Uh, get back on there. Let me film you. Not even 18 inches. Sorry, girl. You don't make the cut today. There you go. Oh, swim off. There you go. Most excellent. You know, it makes sense that I'm catching these fish shallower. And I am. Because the water's high. Water's up. All right. Pull out that top water. Let's get let's get trolling. So now I got this bad boy to myself uh, for the most part, but I mean there's five other boats in here, but they're all anchored and fishing corks, which is great because then I can just work around them. Oh, he blew it up way out there. He just. Missed it, I guess. Bam, there we go. And that one looked like a friggin' hammer. Come on, stay buttoned up. Dude, it looks like a freaking gar the way it rolled on the surface, but it's definitely a trout. I saw its mouth, it looked nice. Of course, it'll probably shrink as it gets closer to the boat. Yeah, it, it already has. <laughs> It like lost 10 inches on its way here, of course. Oh, flipping that bad boy anyway. Oh, dude, it looks so much bigger way out there. I'm not gonna bother measuring, well. Gummer, gummer boss. Ooh, there we go. Let's measure you real quick, just, I'm just curious. Yeah, it's like a 16 inch fish. Darn. Boop. Okay. All right, let's do that again. But hopefully the next fish just has 14 more inches on it. That'd be fantastic. This Daiwa setup is absolutely key for making these bomb casts to cover this water. That and, dude, dude. Oh, I hope that's on camera. I hope that's on camera. Oh, holy shnikes. 
I've never seen speckled trout jump so much before in my life. Not a 20 inch plus hog, but we'll do it. I'll take it. Weep. Nice fish. That's some top water speckled trout, baby. And thank you for the fight. He's hitting it. Come on, finish it off. Come back. Oh, fuck. Right there in front of the boat, dude. He came back for it like three times. Absolutely amazing. Oh, he came off. Sorry, it wasn't a big one anyway. Oh no, there's a storm. There's a storm way over there. That's no good. Oh man, it's coming. Gosh darn it, when it, when it gets close, guys, we, we might have anywhere from 10, 10 to 30 minutes to fish. Whatever, my boat's fast. I'm just gonna let it get right on top of me and then I'll bounce. Nice, oh, it came off. Oh. Let me get it right back out there to beam it right back to him. Got him, nice. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be, this is this is gonna be worth getting wet for. But it's not a it's not a hammer trout though. Come on, little you're not a dink, but not the fish I'm looking for either. Buddy, I'm gonna put you back in the water and I need you to get bigger. And also I also need you to get smarter. Don't bite corks ever. See you, bud. Of course, this guy's gonna try and pull right into where I'm casting. That's awesome. Thanks, bud. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, run that trolling motor right through the where those fish are at. There you go. Yeah, fire up the big motor right out there in the middle where the freaking trout are. You can't make this up. And the, and the storm. <laughs> oh, and the storm is so much closer. And I hope that thing peters out. This is like one of the greatest dilemmas of any man's life is you're on a great top water bite and a storm is coming. What do you do? Nice, bam. Oh. Oh man, this this feels oh this is so, oh feels so good. Uh, it's not a hammer though. Hoo -hoo -hoo, I thought I was about to eat that top water, baby. So I got sunglasses on, even though it's kind of overcast outside. Bam! More top water speckled trout. Little guy though. Little guy though. Still gonna put him back. I'm not keeping fish. There you go, bud. All right, let's cast back out. Maybe his mom is waiting on us. Something just kissed it. There we, there we is. Oh yeah. It was just, it's just like, just sucking at it, just kissing it. It's another little fish though. Come here, buddy. I need to get you into the boat. Dude, I could probably catch a limited trout doing this. That storm is about on top of me now. <clears throat> oh. Evergreen just makes awesome tackle, especially fishing lures. 
and the hooks that come on their shower blow, they are sticky and I am genuinely afraid of them. <laughs> More topwater trout, baby. Oh yeah, please come motor back through the freaking trout, buddy. That, that would be amazing. The storm is starting to dissipate a little bit as it gets closer, so that's good. It's like, dude, how many trout do you need to see me boat flip before you just stop throwing a cork and you pick up a topwater? Get this whole flat as muddy as you can. That's what I'm talking about. Don't be considerate and use your trolling motor at all. Nah, man. Big motor it all the way out. Yeah, boy. Dude, some people, man. I'm just watching that rain. In the distance, I can see trees, like way, way out there or like bushes or something. As soon as they disappear, I'll know that rain is that much closer. Or the rain might dissipate, I just might get some wind. You know, I'm, I'm all right with that. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, that was awesome. Come on, fish. I need y'all to bring out your 30 incher. Oh. Making these bomb casts, got the wind in my back. Getting a wind in my back was definitely key here. I can cast farther and cover more water. We could look out on this rain. It looks like it's gonna go around us, which would be fantastic because it gives me a little bit more fishing time. I'm gonna try a larger model of the shower blow. It's got a slightly different color too that may actually be better for this overcast overcast weather. It's kind of like more like a bone. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's got a little sparkle on it too. There on the bottom, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be good, maybe not. I just, I strongly feel that there are fish here. There's just not a lot of them. And, and there are bigger, more quality fish here. You just gotta be patient. You gotta grind. Yeah, this thing's definitely heavier too. So it casts a lot easier. Something's hitting it, something's hitting it. He can't get it. He's trying to get it. Got him. Oh man, I hope that's on, I hope that got on camera. He was just, he had to have taken at least three swipes at it. I'm having fun, but I don't think it's the fish I'm looking for. Come on, buddy. Let's take a look at you. You got, got that thing all sideways in your mouth? Yeah, I bet you do. It's a nice trout. Bam, 17 inch fish. All right, well, it was very fun catching you, but uh, please go get bigger. It was actually really fun catching that speckled trout. It was really fun catching that speckled trout. Watching him just wham, wham, wham. And I, and I, I kind of started to slow down, like I'll just feed it to him, just feed it to him. But I found you still, I found that you still want to keep the bait moving. Let them get worked up over it. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I thought, I thought he had it. Oh no. Same thing as that other one. He just took a swipe at it and missed. And then it just kind of went, just went underwater and I thought he had it, but he did not. So let me see if I can't pick up on him anyway. Come on, right there in front of the boat. Oh, I know that's on camera. That is, oh, whatever. Oh, bam. Bam. 
Guys, this is this has to be the best day of topwater fishing I think I've ever had for speckle trout. If if not, definitely top three. More topwater speckle trout, baby. This is definitely top three topwater trips of, of my life. If not, number one. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting a workout. I've never thrown a big top water like this so much before in my life. Usually I throw something smaller. Bam! Ah. Oh. Oh yeah, boy. That's a nice trout. Not the big one I'm looking for, but a nice one nonetheless. All right. Back in the water you go. Man, it really can't be better. I mean, it's not, it's not hot. I'm not getting rained on. There's no bugs. There's a breeze keeping me cool. It's overcast. It is absolutely freaking beautiful out. Look at this vista. This is South Louisiana. Just throwing big, ridiculous topwater lures at these fish. And they are hammering them down. Come on, commit to it, little booger, commit to it. Get it, finish it off. Get it, dude, I can see. He wasn't that big, he's probably, if I had to guess, he was 14 inches. I, I just wanna see him hit the top water. I don't even care about catching him, unless it is 20 inches or longer. I believe that there's something about the walking action of a top water lure that's mesmerizing the fish and they just, oh, and they gotta hit it. If it's not doing that walk, or if it's not doing what's designed to do, then they they don't get very interested in it. Just seems like to me, if you can just get that action down right, you get more strikes, you get more hookups, you catch more fish. God, that was awesome. That was freaking amazing. It's not a hammer, but the way he blew up on it, I, I hope that was on camera. I want you guys to see this so bad. This is actually a better eating size trout, but this baby's gonna swim free. Bye-bye. Uh-oh, that's not good. All right, swim, okay, good. Fish swam down. If not, crabs gotta eat too. right there in front of the freaking boat like a crazy psychopath. Not a big one, but a nice one. Oh my gosh. Just, I am just completely just beside myself with these speckle trout and how they're just going crazy over top water. Unfreaking believable, man. Back in the water you go. Awesome. Unfreaking believable. As soon as it hit the water, what is going on? Where am I? I just I can't, you can't make this up. 
It's a nice fish. I'm gonna boat flip it like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. Oh, God dang. Uh, nope. Like 18 and a half inches. Nice. What I like to do is keep a uh, roll of like shop towels inside the boat. They're just like tougher than paper towels, but they're not like actual towels. And they are awesome for cleaning lenses because there's a lot of lenses I gotta clean. Keeping my sunglasses nice and clean. And what I do is I just keep that bad boy boot right up here in the center console or the side console. Hey, freaking Osprey is trying to get my top water, dude. That's one fake fish you do not want to pick up. right there in front of the boat. Right there in front of the boat. There we go. Dude, that one pulled drag. Un just unreal. See if it is a hammer or not. No, it's not. It's one that's a little bit smaller. This foul hooked. I can describe today as only being one of the best, if not the best, uh, speckled trout fishing trips of my life. Definitely best topwater speckled trout trip of my life. Today was awesome. Watching them eat in front of the boat like that and then getting it on camera, I've never done that before. Especially the getting it on camera part. I cannot wait to get home and see what these shots look like and edit it and get it uploaded so you guys can watch it. What was your favorite part about today's trip? Tell me about it in the comments below. Finding biting speckled trout is what it's all about, but also being able to key in the finer details of your fishing tackle is also important to unlocking, unlocking a great bite. And these are all things that I cover inside my courses, Inshore Fishing 101 and Inshore Fishing 201. And you can learn more about those at lafbelite.com. And if you enjoyed today's fishing trip, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know the next one goes live, all you gotta do is subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications. Thanks for watching and tight lines. Yeah.